it is not too late to start making passive income on Etsy selling editable templates. You just have to make templates that not everyone else is already selling. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a bachelorette itinerary template on Canva. If by the end of this video, you're like, oh my God, this girl is so smart and helpful. Be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Let's get into it. I'm going to create a design size 1080 by 1920 pixels. So that's the same size of an Instagram story. Remember, you always want to start designing from a blank template. Don't use the Canva pre-made ones. I'm going to start by adding a text box. And let's say Elizabeth's bachelorette party. Also, when you're designing templates, make sure that you're only using the free fonts and the free elements because if customers don't have Canva Pro, they'll be prompted to pay for each premium element that you use and they will not be happy. So I'm going to type in like we're, we're making a disco one, so we kind of want something like groovy feeling or funky, whatever you want to say. Okay, that's interesting. Sometimes it takes me so long to find a font that I actually like. Okay, I finally have some fonts that I'm okay with. Now I'm going to change the colors up for the text. Now let's add the itinerary. I'm going to align everything to the left. Let's write some sample text. Oh, also, let's not forget to put the day. Okay, so I'm going to delete this itinerary word because I don't think it's necessary. So we'll do Friday up here. Should we do like it aligned like this? Let's make this bigger. Friday. Let's copy this, bring it down, copy it again. Let's make sure everybody is evenly spaced. That's not what I wanted. <laughs> not what I wanted. Okay, let's space this vertically. Okay, like that. Um, I need another little section for like contact information down here. So I think we're going to have to put these a little bit closer together. Because I don't want it to be like all the way at the bottom of the page. Sometimes like if you can't tell if the Fridays are all lined up evenly, I will add like the ruler. Let me see, where is it? View settings and then show rulers and guides. So you can drag over a ruler. Now you can see that they're not all lining up. So I'm just gonna move them over. So everyone is in the same spot. Same for these boxes down here. For yours, I would put different sample text down here. But for these purposes, I'll just change the days. You know what? I'm actually thinking I'm not loving this gray. <laughs> so let's make this pink. And that is just to show you how like much you have to play around sometimes until you get something that you really are happy with. And now since it is disco theme, let's go to elements and maybe add a disco ball or something. All right, guys, this is my final design. The next step would be to create the file with the template link that you're actually going to upload to Etsy. Name the file something customer friendly. This girl bachelorette itinerary. Now come to share. Oh, it looks like they removed where the template link is. So come to more and come to template link. It's very important you're sharing the template link because if you don't share the template, then people are going to be editing the original design. Now come back to Canva. Let's create a design of eight and a half by 11 inches. I like to actually add the image of what they bought. So I'm gonna come back here and just download the PNG really quickly. So download this as a PNG come back to the file. And now we're just going to drag and drop in that image 
let's make it smaller. I'm going to add a text box and write, thank you for your order. So now you're going to come up here to the link and paste in that template link. To make this look nicer, you can add a shadow. And that's really it. So you can make this page as pretty or as minimalistic as you'd like. Now we're going to give this a customer friendly name once again. We're going to download this file as a PDF. And next step is to make some listing photos. I'll just show you how to make the one with the itinerary on the phone. So come back to Canva again. Let's create a new design. I make my listing photo size 3000 by 2400 pixels. We're going to go to elements and type in phone mockup. Most of these are pro elements. And so honestly, if you don't have a Canva Pro account, I would use the 30 day free trial link that I have below. But I don't like this frame because it doesn't have like a rectangle outline. As an example, this is what I want, the rectangle screen. I really don't see anything with that sharp edge that I want. Okay, maybe we'll try to make this work somehow. So I'm gonna change this to like black, all black, right? Let's make this big. Let's drop in our itinerary. Okay, that doesn't look too bad actually. Are these the same blacks? No. Okay. So there you go. Okay, so there would be your thumbnail. Could also duplicate it and test out a different image. So maybe go to photos and batch, type in bachelorette and put a more fun image. Let's flip that around like this. And there you have it. You would download these listing photos as a PNG for Etsy. Now I'm just going to show you really quickly how it would all come together on Etsy. Download those listing photos. So over on Etsy, You'd add a new listing, upload your listing photos, fill out your title, description, and tags. Make sure you're putting different keywords in there. If you need some help with Etsy SEO, check out my Extra Income with Printables course. It goes over my full SEO and keyword research strategy. Change the type to digital product. Put a price in, and right here under digital files is where you would put that file in with the template link. So right here and then you would publish it and your listing would be out on Etsy. I really hope this tutorial was helpful for you. If it was, please like this video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.